Right now on the Adam Carolla Show, This Week in Rage, we count down the top five things that pissed Adam off this week as voted by you at AdamCarolla.com. Gentlemen, start your anger on the Adam Carolla Show. All right, I will go fast because we're up against it and I'm angry and I'm not going to linger this time. Should we start with number number five? Yeah. This Week in Rage. I'm angry. What a dick. I pay taxes, bitch. What? Number five. Ah, the W Hotel. W for worst goddamn hotel in Manhattan. You know what I don't like about the W Hotel? They're so cool. No square footage, by the way. I swear to God, you go into the bathroom, you open the door, it hits the toilet, but tons of attitude. So if you hate square footage, but you love attitude, you love guys in mock turtlenecks looking down, a bunch of guys that look like Ashton Kutcher who are put off when you hand them your keys to valet or you try to check in, well, then that's the place for you. And by the way, if you like that sort of treatment and if you like that sort of environment, then you're an a-hole too. Because your skin should crawl when you have those a-hole models tossing around their attitude and throwing their nose up at you instead of, yes, sir, no, sir, what can I do for you, sir? I don't go, look, I'll go to a trendy club if I want attitude. When I go to a hotel, I want ass kissing. Number four. Speaking of the hotels, just got back from a wedding in Austin. Had the thing where I had the huge bed that had the 18 pillows on it. And uh, not a medium one in the batch. They had large, humongous, and ginormous. I, I literally was crushed by one when it rolled over on me. I had to have my uh, femur rebuilt. I sleep on my belly. I don't want to sleep like I'm sleeping over a parking block. And that's what it feels like. By the way, you can't toss one goddamn wave bill in the mix. How about one small pillow so normal people can sleep like they sleep at home? When you go to your bed at home, do you sleep on a giant? I mean, this thing is like it, uh, the, the pillows were the size of uh, air mattresses that stuntmen jump into. That's essentially what it, what it was. I can't walk straight anymore. Please put some medium and small pillows on these beds. Number three. Uh, Maxine Waters. She's a representative out here in uh, California. Really, for those of you who don't know her, thinks on Esther from Sanford and Son, but stupid. Speaking of the C word, God damn, I can't stand this bitch. I met her during uh, Politically Incorrect many years ago. I suggested the morning after pill, and after she was talking about it or pushing it to her constituency, and she told me the jury was still out on it and the science wasn't in. It has been in. It's been in for 30 years, biatch. But you're trying to blow me off. And look, when you're stupid and you have a stupid constituency, then they don't know you're stupid. When you're talking to smart people, we know you're stupid, so you can't treat us like you're retarded constituency. Anyway, she was on Bill Maher the other day talking about the rich people par- paying their fair share. 1% pays 40% of the goddamn taxes. That's not fair share enough for you, bitch! Number two. Ah, the Phillies. <laughs> the Philadelphia Phillies. Guess what? The, guess where they're from? Philadelphia. What should we call our team? The Phillies. Huh? Hey, where's your team from? Encino? How about the Encinos? Jesus. That's it? Other te- other you know, other other cities work and they scratch their heads and they have write-in contests sponsored by newspapers and stuff. That's it, Phillies? Can you imagine the entire league just did that? We're the Boston nurse. Oh yeah, who are you playing? The San Francisco Knights? And who are they in the contention with? The uh, Anaheimers? Yeah, that's awesome. The Phillies? And by the way, your fanatic, your mascot fanatic, it's just a giant roll of carpet on a uh, zipper scooter. Number one. Yeah. Boy, I got to tell you, there's endless fodder at the Corolla house with uh, my daughter telling me to be quiet. Quiet time, she told me the other day when I was talking, when we were watching TV. It's quiet time, Daddy. Papeep, papeep, papeep. She flaps her hand. Be quiet, Daddy. Stop talking, Daddy. Much to the delight of my wife, who would, by the way, be driving the aforementioned 
Mustang and or Bronco, too, if Daddy decided to stop talking. And much to delight, ironically, to Olga, my nanny, who would not have a gig if Daddy stopped talking. So I know it seems really funny to try to convince Daddy to shut up, but when Daddy shuts up, so does his wallet. Until next time. Hold on a second. This week. Oh, what an ass. In rage. T-Bone, the news. What's coming up in it? Well, both of the presidential candidates try their hand at stand-up comedy. Oh, okay. Greatest weakness. Uh, it's possible that I'm a little too awesome. Good times. Quick break. Back with that next.